Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over one worked example to show you how to do problems involving velocity. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. So in our one and only example here, it says a skydiver falls with a constant speed of 55 meters per second. A wind blows to the west at a speed of 15 meters per second. By scale diagram or otherwise, find the resultant velocity of the skydiver. So remember in these kind of questions to find the resultant vector of an object, we can think about the scale diagram method or the calculation method, just like we did in the worked example video for distance and displacement. So the phrase by scale diagram or otherwise, remember this means we can use either the scale diagram or the calculation method here. So I'm going to use the calculation method because I think it's a wee bit quicker. So let's start with a sketch and draw a velocity vector going south because the skydiver is falling down the way. So we can label that as side A and that's 55 meters per second. And then let's draw the velocity vector going west and we can label that B and that's 15 meters per second. And you'll notice we've joined the vectors nose to tail here. And we can then draw the resultant vector going from the starting to the finishing point. So it's going to go down like that and we can draw our two arrows there to show which way it's going. We can then label the unknown side C the right angle in there, and then the angle next to the starting point, which is in here. So we can call that theta. Then to find the magnitude of the resultant velocity, we can do Pythagoras. So we have c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And putting in the numbers, we have 55 squared plus 15 squared, which equals 3,250. We can then find c by doing the square root of that value, which equals 57 meters per second. To find the direction, remember we start by finding the angle using tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. So opposite the angle, we have 15 meters per second, and adjacent to the angle, we have 55. So that is equal to 15 divided by 55, which equals 0 0.27, once you put it into your calculator. Then to find angle theta on its own, you do the inverse tan of 0 0.27, and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of roughly 15 degrees. We can then write down our final statement, but we need to write the angle as either a compass point or a bearing. We can then say the resultant velocity is equal to 57 meters per second at 15 degrees west of south. And to see that, you can look at the diagram. We've got south going down here. We've then got our angle of 15 degrees in here. And that means the resultant vector is 15 degrees away from south towards west. So we've got 15 degrees west of south. Or as a bearing, we can say 57 meters per second at a bearing of 195. Now, where does that come from? Well, remember for bearings, we go to the starting point and we can think about north as being on a bearing of 000, zero, zero up here. And we then want to come from there all the way round to the resultant vector. So going round from here to here, we get 180 plus the angle of 15 degrees. So we end up with 195 as our bearing. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you find it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.